Hey, what's up Rattlers? So we have arrived in Australia just in time for this awesome Australian weather, but I'm here once again for the Penrith Reptile Expo, which is one of the most amazing reptile expos in Australia. I am really honored to be invited back to this expo, but this year the expo is in an all new location with an all new vibe. So I'm really looking forward to checking out this year's Penrith Reptile Expo and presenting the Rattle On Awards with some guest judges. I'm Dave Kaufman and I am obsessed with reptiles. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit zillarules.com. So last year, the expo was all contained in one building. This year, the expo is so big that they've had to bring it into a gymnasium, but not just this gymnasium. This is only room one. There's a room two over on the other side as well. Let's see what Brian's up to. Uh, he's filming a dinosaur's butt. That dinosaur just gave live birth. Did you see that? I thought that, you know, Brian is, is what was one of your cameramen. Because you guys are always with you. Brian is one of my cameramen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dave, nice to meet you. Martin. Hey, good to meet you. Hi, how are you? Hi, good to meet you. Hi. Oh, I appreciate that, thank you. All right, so let's see your purchase here. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Wow, that is a monster blackhead. So are you working with blackheads? And is this a male, female? That looks like a female to me, yep. Wow, very cool. All right, so for all the, uh, for all the American rattlers out there that don't know how much a blackhead costs here in Australia, especially an adult female like that, Ballpark, what did you pay for? This one was eight fifty, but it all depends on what genetics they have. One of the ones I've got at home was two and a half thousand. Wow, so this one was eight hundred and fifty dollars Australian. It's about five hundred. Which is about five hundred US. Wow, that is a gorgeous snake. Alright, so I just ran into these two awesome rattlers. What's your name? Daniel. Daniel. Jessica. Jessica. And Daniel and Jessica, what did you get at this awesome expo? We got a um green tree frog. Um, Look at that! So um, we really love the reptile hobby um, and we've kind of got a few animals already. Uh, we've got a um, jackie dragon. Um, nice. We've got a breeding pair of pygmy bearded dragons, a breeding pair of my river turtles. So you guys are on your way. You'll have yeah. a table here in no time. Yeah. Alright, tell everybody your name and your channel. Awesome, my name is Ben. I'm on Pace Reptiles on YouTube and I also have an Instagram account at Pace Reptiles. Um, today at the show, I've bought an amazing little monitor. They're probably one of the most common monitors that we keep here in Australia uh, as pets. Little Aki. All right, so oh, look at that cute little Aki. Can you believe it? This one's only three and a half weeks old. Two. Three and a half weeks three and old. Three and a half weeks old. Wow. They're absolutely thriving. Now you guys keep these in America, hey? Oh yeah, these are extremely popular in the U.S. and Canada and Europe. Yeah, these are probably one of the most popular monitors out there. These have been called uh, the perfect starter monitors. Exactly. Yep. They really are. All right, I'm going to put Ben's channel link in the description below. Check his channel out. He's a new up-and-coming YouTuber. And, uh, man, that's an awesome buy. Congratulations on that. Awesome. Thanks so much. Cool, cool.
So this is room number two, well, more like gymnasium number two. And in this room, there's a lot of displays and a lot of books and a lot of really other cool stuff to check out. So something that is noticeably missing in expos around the United States or Europe is a place like this. Just a section of the expo set aside just for kids. This is awesome. How cool is that that you get to ride these little dinosaur cars? I wonder if it's just for kids. So Rattlers, it wouldn't be the Penrith Reptile Expo without Troy Hovenden's amazing display over here. He has some of the most amazing snakes and pythons that are found here in Australia. Just wait until you see these. All right, so later on in this trip, we're going from Darwin down to Alice Springs, right in the middle of the Centrillion Carpets range. I really want to find one of these in the wild. But for now, Troy has one here that he's gonna show us. So they're Morelia bretoli, but they used to be grouped in with the carpet pythons and then they were split off on their own species. That's pretty much it, I think. Right. So, um, yeah, so they're yeah, Morelia uh, bredley. Um, but yeah, so they, are, they have been, as far as I'm aware, they have been um, shown to be distinct from the rest of the carpet pythons, yep. yeah. I love the brown and kind of caramel colors that these guys have. I love their head stamp patterns. These are just gorgeous, gorgeous snakes. I bred in myself, yeah, it was yeah. Not, not last season, the season before. Gotcha, gotcha. Gorgeous little guy. Now, there's also a striped version of these. Are you working with those? No, I, I pretty much, I just have the, the standard varieties. Um, I have no, no morphs or gotcha. I just have the standard ones myself. And there's also a hypo morph out yes. there somewhere in the world. I would love to get a couple of hypos. Yep. A lot of people work with those. They are gorgeous. So that's the Centrillion Python, formerly known as the Centrillion Carpet Python. However, there's a lot of, uh, if you call it a Centrillion Carpet Python, it's correct. If you call it a Centrillion Python, also correct. I just refer to them as Bradleys. Absolutely. I Every, just call them Bradleys. All of us refer to them as Bradley or yeah, Bradleys, whatever, however you pronounce it, you know, depending on if you're from Australia or the United States. And, uh, but they're just amazing, amazing pythons. Over here, that's where Darwin is. That's where we're going to be. I'm going to try to find these guys as well, but I want to take out an albino Darwin carpet python because there's a reason why I want to show off this albino in here. Here we are. He's a little bit jittery, but yeah, he he'll is. calm down. We'll but give him a minute. Those, and he'll... those just insane yellows coming out in this uh, pure albino Darwin. Yep. That is just amazing. And you can see there's even some in the right light. There's even some pinks and in in the upper near his head. Yeah, in all the, the neck colors area. come out. Yeah. Yeah. Look at those just insane oranges and yellows coming out in this python. That is just a gorgeous snake. So the reason why I wanted to take this snake out is because a lot of people may not know that the Darwin carpet python was the very first albino ever found. A lot of the albino carpet pythons that we have came from a pure Darwin carpet python that was found in the wild that was albino. And you said his name was Blondie? As far as I know, yeah, that was the first one. It was a girl and it was, it was this. They and it was named Blondie. Blondie. Oh, that's a good Blondie. name for it, but. But there's a story about it. You can, you can read up on the story about Blondie. And yeah, she was the, uh, the first of the, the albino Darwin carpet. And that snake started the albino gene in carpet python morphs. Yeah. But now there's, I understand there's albino uh, coastal carpets out there. Uh, they're pretty rare, but. I think even Bradley's now, I'm not sure. Oh, there, there's albino Bradley's now. I, I think I saw something. That would be very cool. Yeah. All right, this is one of my favorite Australian lizards. This is a shingleback, but look at this one. Woo! 
That is amazing. Look at those oranges and those blacks and those cream colors. This is like a Halloween lizard. They actually called Garfield Shinglebacks. Garfield Shinglebacks. All right, so this is Andrew Camel. Hi yeah, guys. You guys remember him from the amazing video that we shot at his place last year. <laughs> And this is his lizard. So what did you say that this was Gold called? Goldfield. So Western Australia Goldfield Shingleback. Wow. They're stunning. That the is orange, amazing. Different colors. Now these colors occur naturally, right? They this isn't sure like are, a war. Because they come from red sand. Right. That's why they camouflage into the red sand. That is amazing. Yeah. That is an amazing lizard. So right now you are making europeans and americans uh, drool all over their computers with that uh with that lizard that is an amazing lizard well all of europe you come to panel hill and visit it if you want that's oh, right that's all. right all we can do is visit them that's it. That's it. <laughs> oh man that is amazing we're gonna have to come to your place pretty soon probably that's then my the next world. trip if you are upgrades since you've been there now absolutely we will do a built. we'll do a follow-up probably not this trip because it's packed yep. but next trip to australia we'll you do will. a follow-up with you can't wait right on okay. so those were some amazing lizards and snakes over at troy's display he really does an awesome job educating australians about the, really the snakes and lizards that are found right in their backyards. But now it's time for the 2020 Penrith Reptile Expo Rattle On Awards. And I've asked a few special guests here at the Expo to become guest judges for this year's Rattle On Awards. All right, so for the Rattle On Award for the best new breeder here at the 2020 Penrith Reptile Expo, I am going to give it over to our guest judge, Peter Birch. Who did we pick for the Rattle On Award winner for the best new breeder? Well, the best new breeder I think, Noah. Noah, hey. hey! So how old are you? Turning nine this year. Turning nine, okay. And how long have you been breeding reptiles? Three years. Three years already. So I know it's not only just you that's into it now, you've turned it into a family thing, haven't you? So your little brother's also involved too, right? Yeah. And how old's he? Turning seven. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. This is a yellow diamond python. That's fantastic. He was born on December the 23rd. And look at how organized you are. You even have your notes on when yeah, they were born. We've got all these feeds and when he was born. That's fantastic. And this is your dad? All right, so you also have some uh, hypotrans silkbacks here. Yeah, we've got a few different ones. These are the little ones of the group. All the big ones are gone today. Well, we've got some high red ones. Now, the reason why I picked these guys is really simple. We've got a young fella who's inspiring the next generation, which happens to be his younger brother. And these guys are breeding some pretty cool animals. And the, the proof of the pudding is they've basically got nothing left on the table. And that's the reason why they've got the Rattle On Award for the best up and coming burrito. Alright, so when it comes to the Rattle On Awards for the best lizard here at the 2020 Penrith Reptile Expo, I am giving it over to my guest judge, Brian Cusco. No, 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 no. Huh? Uh, he's surrounded by people right now. Lizzie. This is oh. kind of a testament as to why, this isn't why, but now after the fact I've already decided that this is the best lizard at the Expo, we've got a whole crowd of people around the lizard that I chose as the best lizard. At the expo. But that is a very good testament to your selection. I think so. Yes. As, as, as much as it was my own biased opinion, clearly lots of other people feel the same way about this lizard. So I think that makes me feel stronger about my choice. That is, I, I couldn't agree more, and the anticipation is killing us all. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> what you got there, Brian? I got a parenti here. So my own biased reason for picking this animal was uh, one of the. Okay, so the main reason I picked this animal, well, there are several reasons why I picked this animal. One, this is one of the lizards we were really hoping to find in the wild but didn't get to. True. And so to be able to hold one up close, I'm sure that in the wild we would not have been able to do this. The other reason is just a, a beautiful lizard. It is the largest monitor in Australia. And uh, this particular animal is actually part of an educational program, most like what we do with 
with roaming reptiles. Look at how chill she is, dude. She's totally chill. No, this is a very good selection. They raised her from a little, like, like five-inch baby, he said. She's like five inches when they first started working with her. Really? Yeah. That is a very well-behaved parenti. The fact that this animal is extremely tame and is an lizard that you can hold like this, that's a... Uh, it kind of hit all the markers for why I would pick this as the best animal. That's why I picked this lizard to be the best lizard at the Penrith Reptile Expo Rattle On Awards. So I'm here at Steve Carruthers' table and, you know, I'll tell you, one of the main questions that I get as an American over here at a reptile expo in Australia is they want to know about corn snake morphs and ball python morphs and what I'm doing over here is I'm geeking out over all the children python morphs that there are and so when I saw this dude, holy crap, look at him! This is a marbled chimera children's python. I have never seen a snake like this before. This is an amazing snake, and what makes this chimera is basically what makes any other snake or reptile or any other animal chimera, but it's also marbled. And marbled is a recessive morph of children's python in and of itself. So when you have a marbled morph combined with chimera, man, this makes for an amazing little children's python. Wow, I really, really wish that we could get some of these children's pythons in the U.S. because I, for one, would be working with these snakes. These are just amazing. So again, it's going to be a long, long time, if ever, that we see morphs like this outside of Australia. You know, there really does need to be some concessions made to allow for the export of captive bred morphs. I understand why they don't want anything exported out of this country because they're trying to protect their wild populations of reptiles here so that somebody doesn't go out and grab 2,000 children's pythons and export them. However, when it comes to snakes like this that are morphs, you know, that can't survive in the wild, that didn't come from the wild, there really needs to be some concessions to allow the exportation of morph reptiles out of Australia and hopefully, well, fingers crossed that that does happen one day because there are some amazing things at these expos that you just can't really see outside of Australia. And this guy is one of them and that's why this Chimera Marble Children's Python is my pick for the 2020 Penrith Reptile Expo Rattle On Awards for the best snake here. Although that one I picked to be the Rattle On Award winner for the best snake here, I wanted to show you guys this one as well. This is another marbled chimera, and this one is a clutch mate to the one that I just showed you. So what are the odds of getting two chimeras in the same clutch? And if that wasn't weird enough, another egg within that clutch actually hatched twin chimera marbled children's pythons. That is almost unheard of. But on this snake, you can see where the marbled morph comes in there. This really kind of creamy pattern here. That's the marbled form of the children's python. And then the black spots are part of the chimera. But man, Steve Carruthers here hit the jackpot with these children's pythons. Just absolutely amazing snakes. And children's pythons, they're one of the dwarf python species that are found here in Australia. They don't get very big. But man, the morphs of children's pythons that are at this expo is just absolutely astounding. All right, Rattler, so that is the end of the 2020 Penrith Reptile Expo. You know, this is my second time here, and let me tell you something, this expo just gets better and better every year. So I really want to thank Colin South and the Hawkesbury Herpetological Society for once again flying me out here to Australia. I really love it out here, and they are just such an amazing group of people that I'm now happy to really call my friends. Anyway, Rattlers, from here, we are going on a Australian adventure unlike anything I've ever done before. We're gonna cover more of this country than I've ever seen in a single trip. So those episodes are starting next week. So as always, hit that subscribe button, and when you do, hit that bell so you never miss one of those uploads. And until the next adventure from here in Australia, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.